I'd like to take you into a meeting and introduce you to a tool of ours called the Dot Collector that helps us do this. A week after the U.S. election, our research team held a meeting to discuss what a Trump presidency would mean for the U.S. economy. Naturally, people had different opinions on the matter and how we were approaching the discussion. The dot collector collects these views. It has a list of a few dozen attributes, so whenever somebody thinks something about another person's thinking, it's easy for them to convey their assessment. They simply note the attribute and provide a rating from one to ten. For example, as the meeting began, a researcher named Jen rated me a three. In other words, badly. For not showing a good balance of open-mindedness and assertiveness, as the meeting transpired, Jen's assessments of people added up like this. Others in the room have different opinions. That's normal. Different people are always going to have different opinions, and who knows who's right? Let's look at just what people thought about how I was doing. Some people thought I did well, others poorly. With each of these views, we can explore the thinking behind the numbers. Here is what Jen and Larry said. Note that everyone gets to express their thinking, including their critical thinking, regardless of their position in the company. Jen, who's 24 years old and right out of college, can tell me, the CEO, that I'm approaching things terribly. This tool helps people both express their opinions and then separate themselves from their opinions. To see things from a higher level, when Jen and others shift their attentions from inputting their own opinions to looking down on the whole screen, their perspective changes. They see their own opinions as just one of many, and naturally start asking themselves, "How do I know my opinion is right?" That shift in perspective is like going from seeing in one dimension to seeing in multiple dimensions. And it shifts the conversation from arguing over our opinions to figuring out objective criteria for determining which opinions are best. Behind the dot collector is a computer that is watching. It watches what all these people are thinking, and it correlates that with how they think. And it communicates advice back to each of them based on that. Then it draws the data from all the meetings to create a pointillist painting of what people are like. And how they think, and it does that guided by algorithms. Knowing what people are like helps to match them better with their jobs. For example, a creative thinker who is unreliable might be matched up with someone who's reliable but not creative. Knowing what people are like also allows us to decide what responsibilities to give them, and to weigh our decisions based on people's merits. We call it their believability. Here's an example of a vote that we took, where the majority of people felt one way, but when we weighed the views based on people's merits, the answer was completely different. This process allows us to make decisions not based on democracy, not based on autocracy, but based on algorithms that take people's believability into consideration. <laughs> 